Hey guys, it is a very exciting day. I am here at IRG campus in Sungai Bulo and I am about to have a rooftop tent installed on my car. Yeah, how exciting is that? And I think I've mentioned in one of my past videos that it has always been a dream of mine to have a rooftop tent. And today is the day. So um, Nicholas from IRG campus uh, is kind enough to sort of lend me a rooftop tent uh, for me to try and test it out perhaps for a month or two and see if I like it or not. So just a little bit of information about uh, the car that I have. It is a Subaru Forester, uh, year 2016, 2.0i. Not the IP, but just the i base model. Um, six years old, still going strong. And the good thing is it's already got this um, uh, car rails. And a few months ago, I've got uh, the crossbars installed. It was the Rhino Rack crossbars. So that has been the foundation for my car side awning, which I got from MHZ Ag Adventure. So now uh, we are doing some adjustment to the Rhino Rack crossbars to put the rooftop tent on. So the rooftop tent that is about to get installed on my car is a soft shell rooftop tent. Uh, it is the Royal Bloom Social Tent from IRG. Um, yeah, I think in the past I've done quite a bit of research on rooftop tents, uh, the good and the bad, the types of rooftop tents, and their uh, advantages and disadvantages. And I think I've always been, um, you know, leaning towards a uh, uh, shell rooftop tent. But um, you know. I think uh, each of them has got um, its pros and cons and for example the soft shell tan uh, number one it is more affordable and um, definitely more lightweight which is less burdening on the car uh, however it I think many people have uh, found it a bit troublesome to put up and take down as for the hard shell rooftop tent, it's definitely pricier and weighs more. So it can definitely be more burdening uh, on the car and fuel usage as well. Uh, but uh, its usability is much better and many people find it more convenient and easy to put up and take down. Okay. Now this is not a new tent and it's not uh, gonna belong to me. Uh, basically IRG is just gonna lend it to me for some time for me to try it out, test it out. Um, yeah, really thankful to Nicholas from IRG campus for offering me this opportunity. Um, although I've always uh, leaned towards uh, a hard shell rooftop tent, but you know, I'm not exactly shutting the possibility of a soft shell tent because you know I can do a lot of research online I can get all the information online but the best way to really find out if it's really suitable for you is to actually test it out and try it out and who knows I may end up falling in love with it or I may end up hating it <laughs> let's see We are actually fine-tuning the exact position of the crossbars because previously uh, I only had the car side awning on so this part of the crossbar was slightly protruded out to keep it in balance but now that we're gonna add a rooftop tent on this we're gonna have to readjust re this position so that it's more balanced <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, I am in the office of IRG campus. This is a small space where they keep all their products and their camping gears. Um, yeah, um, so they've got their rooftop tents over here and we've got a few IRG uh, toolboxes. It's this really interesting looking spotlight. We've got a variety of lanterns and lamps. These are all uh, accessories for uh, roof racks and crossbars. They've also got awnings. More boxes. Now these are really heavy duty, good quality camping boxes. And you can also use it as um, a cooler box if I'm not mistaken, but uh, it's not as good as a conventional cooler box. But yeah. Perfect as a kitchen box or a toolbox, and they are good looking too. Oh, come in different sizes. This is quite nice. Slight change of plans. Um, so we were having a little bit of difficulty trying to fit the tent on top of the car. Uh, and that's because of some limitations and interference caused by the uh, existing uh, crossbars and car side awning. So the current plan is to actually switch to a different tent which is still a soft shell tent but a different one. It is a new one with a different color tone and they're gonna adjust it so that it fits onto the car and the existing crossbars. Top 10 from IRG campus. Why over there? I'm so excited to give it a try when I go camping next. So thank you so much IRG Campus for offering to lend this tent to me to test and try it out. 
if you want to have a more detailed look of this tent and if you want to watch me struggle for the first time putting it up and taking it down stay tuned to my next video i'll see you in the next one bye bye